Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Virgo, today we'll do your last week of June. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. The fourth week of this month. And this reading starts from the time you view it or from the 24th going till the 30th of June. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Sign, as you always know, general messages, general purposes. Take what resonates with you loves, leave what doesn't. I'm using today, Virgo, for you the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards. Let's see here what's the energy bringing to you, what's the message, and of course, whatever spirit want to share with you. Let's see here, loves. We have innocence. And I feel here there is a child energy around you. For some of you, you might have that melancholy energy like, I wish things go smoothly, easy, and just be good. For some of you, you want to prove your innocence towards somebody and tell them the way they are. As vice versa, somebody wants to express that to you. And as you see here, there is a woman, angel, with a little one. It's such a lovely, lovely card. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Somebody here definitely wants to have peace in the life. And and I feel here you will get it, loves. Underneath we have blessing in disgust. There is something here coming for you. Whatever you felt it is a problem or whatever was heavy for you, it's kind of from something, it's kind of what you thought is garbage, actually it's a treasure. Okay, I definitely see here there is something here you thought will put you down or be like a burden. And actually that thing came out to be the opposite here. And Spirit says, trust the universe, trust the protection from the angels. And as always, you know, we do have angels around us. We are never ever alone. Keep in mind that Virgo. But let's hear what we have the energies for this weekly, the last week of June. We have a lot of retrogrades at this time. So whatever energy comes towards you with cautious processes and also whatever you feel kind of in the fog or over happy, say thank you universe and let's move forward with that. Let's see, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. What's the weekly energy for my loves? Thank you, Spirit. High Priestess. By see an energy here, but as well, there is a feminine energy. As you know, you are the virgins here. But at the same time, your intuition is at the highest level at this time. So keep up. Whatever comes to you in any form or another. Don't ask why they it's here, why that energy is here. It's like what that energy brings to me, what I need to learn from it and how to move with that energy. There is something here you, you have in mind to do. And it's like Spirit says, the answer is yes, go ahead, whatever you have in mind. Okay, also follow your guides. You follow your intuition. Whatever question you have with S or no, this week is an S. Okay, let's see here. What we got here for you, loves? Three of Swords, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. Whatever is going to happen, it's within a week could be even just, yeah, it's days. Seven of Swords here. There is something new here. Sun, Three of Pentacles, Devil, 
Nine of Cups. I feel here it's like the hard work it's paid off right now. Although somebody here could work hard for something. Oof. And I feel here it's you, Virgo. You might deal here with a Pisces. I see Leo and I see a Capricorn. Could be any sign since we do have the Magician. Magician is all science together. Although there is a lot of things here. Somebody might lie to you, might tell you things. But I feel here you will work hard. It's like day and night till you get all the stuff. For some of you, you might deal with somebody who is a very good liar. It's like, is that good that they believe in their own lies? Okay? Which for you, it's a big no-no. Although, whatever... I feel here, whatever you offer this person, it's like, you know, when a person gives you something and you say like, no, I want more. But that person cannot offer you more like they offer you what they can or how much they can but i feel here there's somebody here is like i want more also there is something here around children around the pregnancy here you know it you might not talk with this person right now virgo but i feel here you really want to clarify things here Although it was a lot of loss here, but I feel here there's way more than you might feel there was. And I feel here there is a Virgo who is clearing up a very dark past. Like a period of a lot of hurt is behind. For some of you, you might leave a, a job here who you worked a lot. And, you know, Virgos, my moon is in Virgo. I really enjoy working and many times is excess. I have people saying like, you got to rest a little bit, but that's in, is in my blood. And I feel here for some Virgos is like work, work, work. It's a lot. For some of you, something here didn't work with a karmic, with a liar. Somebody here you left behind. Could be a partner who you've been tied up because... Capricorn is karmic energy, karmic ties, and that requires a lot of work. I don't say that all the karmics are bad or heavy for you. No, they are not. But I feel here that is behind and now you want to fight for something you really, really want. Although for some of you Virgos, you've been dealing with somebody who indulge in things. Could be either work, either drink alcoholism here also could be a, I will say a professional liar here I see a, a very good liar here although you know who is this person because when we have the high priestess you do know who is this person so I feel here there is a Virgo clear up whatever is heavy took you quite a while to clear up some some craziness in here two three years i say two three years here for you loves but i feel here now it's time for you it's kind of the first round is gone the next time the next round is on me for myself i'll get what i want here let's see here what's that for you virgos and i feel here there is something here virgo you you might not know there is a person here who you really know them but that person is also a fighter it's like you you might left the karmic there is um, another person in here who might be your twin and that person is mirroring you okay so i feel here you know both i'm not sure why i do see here two people you might not see them here, but I do see the energies because usually I don't read a person. I don't read most of the time the cards. I do read the energies. So the energy of two people is right here. And I feel here one of those people is your blessing. And that could be a twin for you. Because I see here twin energy, twin flame energy, and a karmic. 
but that's over let's see here three of swords could be a third party here left behind and i feel here that was causing a lot of grief but there's no more i feel here there is a shift a huge shift lovers yeah it's kind of whatever decision you could make in the past anyway somebody will get hurt and that one who get hurt was you okay whatever decision was that you got hurt nine of wands you didn't want to make it you didn't want to make it four of cups death definitely something here was over was over and done that was um i will not call a missed opportunity i will call something here been offered and somebody refused because somebody wants like the right way the right thing to do and just doing that or wanting to do that was a thing like you know is a it's kind of a loose energy here let's see here seven of wands empress somebody didn't want to be in a third party here somebody didn't want to be in a third party here and this person didn't want to be in a third party because they've been a third party for some of you, you might deal with somebody who was married or you Virgo have been married when it happened these things okay and somebody made a decision it's like i want to clear up whatever i am and somebody didn't have patience to stick around seven of swords but it was also some sneakiness around ish magician this person was single they they didn't want to be in a third party six of pentacles they at the same time they didn't want to to be breadcrumbed it's like what is mine is just mine nobody else nobody else can have that what is mine also was a situation here that somebody took advantage of another situation here devil speak to me devil please thank you four of pentacles that was a money situation as well here and this is you loves you hold on on a thing which you you taught to manage it one more six of cups but i feel here that was involved the little ones children for some of you if you you thought like if i'll work things out with this energy then i can go back to what i need to and i feel here is kind of like there, there was somebody else involved here it's like you've been with somebody and you choose to work on those things and it's kind of like if i leave something to be in a good way because i don't want to drag you know after me something and then i will deal with other part and i feel here you've been dealing with one part right now and then now it's coming the other one and i feel here this person who you want right now to go towards you've been holding quite a while right now and you are not sure what to do here let's see here what your intuition is telling you how to pursue high priestess speak to me here ten of pentacles one more queen of wands it's definitely a fire sign could be a secret person very abundant sexy awesome and as well you know this person is capable for more in their life one more seven of cups but they might have other options you might feel like you've been for them an option when you met them also you might be very much unclear where you are standing 
with this person but I see here they are the wish for you and also you wish a new beginning with them or vice versa flip the energy Virgo if it's not you it's them okay somebody here has a big desire here tower well there is a lot of clarity coming up judgment here there's a lot of like you know when it's it's rain it's pouring that's how this things is like if you've been unsure what to do how to do if I should go back if I should open again that energy I feel here that will be like if you will not go they will go but I feel here whatever was confusing whatever was unclear is like over the sudden it is coming and it's clear up whatever it was unclear in here and definitely there is something here supposed to come back although there is an energy from another past life here you are loves will of fortune it's coming around to you for clarity okay for some of you this person might not speak to you for quite a while but it is coming. I see the month of July could be around, could be at the start of July or in July, all this happening. But since it's just for a week, it is coming, loves. So Virgo, I definitely see here there is kind of level one or one is gone, another is starting energy. It's like whatever I need to deal, I deal and now it's the second time the second thing I need to. Because you feel that's the right thing to do. And here we are, loves. And I see the positivity coming here for you, the clarity coming for you. A lot of things being been revealed to you even I don't have the ace of swords I have the tower I definitely see here there is a lot of you two processing here and it's a person here who you will conversate will be it's kind of face to face and see it's not like it's like I don't want to repeat whatever was but I just want to move forward with what it is. And I don't feel it's kind of to go and, you know, to, to reconcile. I don't see a reconciliation. I see like a clarity energy. It's like I need clarity in regards to this and see what I can out there. So yes, loves. This what I got for this week. Thank you very much for watching, being here on the channel. Love and light to all of you Virgos. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.